Solana, I have a dislike for inky darkness. Oops. <laughs> there shouldn't be a shred of reason to be standing here on here. Let us move briskly on. And yes, I did tap the FF split window, which is why I popped up on that side. But anyway, yee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Move on, we shall. And do you have any other dialogue, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Should be another generator at least. Hurry, let us find it. Uh, actually, maybe you just said that because we're on the other floor where there's light. What if- do you have something else to say here? No, you do not! Okay, I'm just sort of curious to see the dialogue. But anyway, clearly we have another battle going on here. Well, a capture going on here. Uh, I guess, probably, might be. You wouldn't know unless you had cameras, and the cameras are shut down because the power is out too, so... You'd never notice, would you? Ho oh, ho ho ho! Oh, poopers. <laughs> uh, let's try and distract them a little bit. Wait, actually, I'm gonna do this. Oh, shoot, they grouped together. There we go, I wanna do that. Ah, there we go. That's some speed, baby. Uh, I want that other Machop. There you go. You, you punch. There you go, good boy. <laughs> and no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Machoke, Machoke. Please, ah shoot, please attack only when it's most convenient for me. <laughs> oh, don't jump either. <laughs> ah, you and your jumpiness. Ah, <laughs> I'll get you eventually, I swear. You're not very threatening, but you're just time consuming. Ah, I could discharge, of course, but eh, eh, it seems like a waste for something so non-threatening. <laughs> Come on now, work with me here. Oh! <laughs> I got it on that last jump. <laughs> I was circling more vertically at the end there because of that, but it all worked out. <laughs> well, well, I kind of did that for their own good because those stylers you have apparently hurt the Pokemon. So yes, by the way, this is not a door here. My first playthrough, I thought this was a door because, you know, there's light going through it, but that's actually supposed to be a window. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no! Seven Rattata! Mayday! Mayday! <laughs> well... <laughs> you definitely aren't. Oh, jeez, there's eight Rattata. I didn't see the one in front of you. Let's see if I can get them all in one soup here. Whoa! Oh, shoot. It only takes one circle per Rattata, but... Ah, it's so spectacular if you can get them all in one. I've only done that, like, once or twice in play uh, in different playthroughs out of all the playthroughs I've done. But look at all of them! There's so many! <laughs> Just gotta kind of watch for a gap, and then circle through that gap, which, whichever Rattata you happen to get, just goes in there, will work out for you. <laughs> it's not very difficult or anything like that, even if they scatter around, but it's most spectacular if you can get them all in one soup, as I said. Woo! <laughs> well... You're the one that said you were gonna, gonna get serious. There's another save point there. Another electronic door that does not open unless you stop that generator. Yeah, I will capture that Magnemite, because well, why not? It'll help my Styler in the future, probably. <laughs> Woo! That, those loops I did look more like a spring than loop. Because <laughs> it wasn't doing its attack to, you know, like stop in place, and yeah. Um. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Isn't. That, isn't this the front door here? Like, if I try and go out, he's gonna say something? Yeah, this is the front door. <laughs> the thing that we couldn't go through the other way. Alright, so now we got some Team Rocket base type floorings going on here, where you're automatically moved in the directions of the arrows, so we got ourselves a little bitty puzzle going on here, which is more like a... Not, not so much a puzzle as is a visual track where you need to go type of thing. Um, I'm gonna try and go up here, because that might, may or may not be the right place, we'll see here. Uh, how about I go across this way, and then I go, um, um, I'm not that way, eh? I need to go to that sort of dealio like this, yes, there we go. And don't worry about the other Pokemon in this room, because when we are set, 
this will be... Oh, shoot, I actually... Yeah, it comes a little bit... Mm, I need the pincer. But yeah, that's how you get to the Pikachu room. Alright, so... Pikachu room needs a pincer to free it. Let's pop down over here. Uh, there's the pincer. I should have got that back from another route, but that is okay. It doesn't take that long to get back through there. If you... If you... Ah, if you visualize the path well enough. Aha! There we go. Pincer is mine. Mine. Wait, why did I go take that way? That's all. This is all a dead end here, I believe. Yeah, because it just loops you around like that. So yeah, I gotta go back around this way and do the whole rocking loop around the factory, and I'll be back for that magneton later. <laughs> Oh, 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 I keep touching the... Eh, come on, careful, careful, just want to get on that one there, and this one here, then whoops, whoop, whoop, that one there, and then we're home free. <laughs> yeah, this one, those other ones just kind of loop. And there we go. Pikachu, you're saved, saved by the pincer! Woo! Yeah! And now once you shut down ye old... Fa well, this portion of the factory here, uh, those treadmill type things of the arrows will actually shut down too. So, yes, this generator is down, but there's one other generator, and a pincer will not help you get this generator, so don't bother recapturing that pincer unless you need a bug poke assist or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna be more focused on the magneton here, because I think this will be more handy than the pincer. <laughs> As uh, things get harder, gotta recover more, you know, you know, you know, yes. So, against the green of the treadmills we go, and over to this door that is now open, we also go. Yay! <laughs> so, so which way is the right way? I forgot, I think this is a dead end. Yes, it is that way, okay, so... I will try to avoid the macho, because I captured you before, as I will the machop. It's gonna take the long way around. Uh -huh. Hangar zero two, apparently. Uh -oh -oh -oh. You seen me? You got me. That's <laughs> but 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 I can do that before you even have a chance to attack. How do you like those apples? <laughs> now, uh oh, okay. You turned around at just the right time. Hmm. Should it now? Okay, let's just press that button and... Oh no! Oh uh oh! Oh no! <laughs> could it be a mistake anyone could make? And we're gonna be attacked. <laughs> Sir, I heard the alarm! <laughs> I love that. It just kind of says, Sir, I immediately think it's the boss. But yeah, this is actually a boss in itself, a mini boss, and that crowbats really fast. So careful with that, as is. Oh, the area, those. Oh, shoot. That is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, you want to circle between the uh, psychic waves there, or whatever the heck they are. Ah, I got it. Preferably. But yeah, you want to do something like this. See, it's not always well, not always about the speed. <laughs> Sometimes there's a little bit of strategy involved there. And that's what I think a lot of people don't give this game credit for. In, like, reviews, they, they call this a very shallow game, but there's actually a lot more to this than meets the eye in terms of the circling strategy and whatnot. Like, if you started your circles in front of the crowbat, like, say the crowbat was here and it was psychic waving in this direction, and you started them here, you wouldn't be able to do the circles, at, you know, the, at that slow pace that I did there because it would be psychic waving anytime there's a line here. And there's always going to be a line there because you're crisscrossing at about this point. Which, so you do it at the side, and then do it in between those ultrasonic attack waves, the supersonics, yeah. So I guess it's confirmed that it's supersonic, not some sort of psychic confusery or anything like that. But yeah, it's, it, it irks me when people say this game is shallow. <laughs> <clears throat> There's quite a lot to the Ranger series than meets the eye. I mean, yeah, it starts out easy, but, you know, that's... It's the beginning of the game, but as it gets on, it gets more and more complicated on how you circle things. 
Is it too late? Is that what was- oh, mm, I guess that was what was going across those factories, you know, those factory treadmills. There's some goodies in here that you might want to capture, like say the Scyther. That has the power to open up the next cage, because it's got a triple cut. Uh, oh yeah. Thank you for pausing long enough for me to pull that off. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, make sure you keep that Scyther for the future, don't use it for any sort of Poke Assists. Oh, um, uh, ooh, oh, uh, oh yeah, I didn't use any Ghost Poke Assists yet, so I'm gonna release the Psychic. Yeah, I still gotta show you the Ghost. Um, caught a Ludicolo way back at the, uh, uh, Fall City, you know, around the fountain. So yeah, I don't need one of those. And now we move on... You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna do this, just to, so I can get a Magneton, because Magnetons beat the Magnemites, hands down. And I just wanna not get the Mr. Mime in with the fray. <laughs> they don't have very, very lar large vision ranges, apparently. And... There we go! Oh! I thought I had it there. In fact, I said, there we go, because I thought I had it. <laughs> and now, we go. Here is the third generator, and it's a Raichu, and this generator is much, much stronger than the other ones, which is why you need the Scyther. See that? See that? See that? Yeah. Let's just click around the... <laughs> just, just because it's polished, it looks expensive. Yes, yes. <laughs> and fortunately, you cannot click on this generator either. I would have thought they would have had some sort of funny dialogue to go along with that too. But alas, alas, I guess not. Scyther, stop moving. I need to click on you. I <laughs> just need to click and drag to their cycle bin that is now that machine. <laughs> and there we go. Woof. And it is done. So... The place is now cleared out, and we can move on, but can we now? I recommend you save your game here, by the way, because we're gonna we're gonna be coming across a boss soon, let's just put it that way, but, you know, for the walkthrough, I can't really do that, so I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> I'm gonna go flip-flop through here, and how did you see me when your back was turned? <laughs> In fact, how did the other one see me with its back was turned out? Ah, whatever. Maybe because you're psychic or something. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you could see me easily because your face is turned right towards me. <laughs> I'm just running from stuff here. No big deal. And now... Uh-oh, it's one of the big bad band members. Yep. Yep. Speed charge! Oh, no! So that's when they said boss, I mean, you know, the sir, the whole thing there. That is what they meant by sir, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Is it now? Uh-oh, calling a Pokemon? This can't be good! Oh no, it is a scissor! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm getting dizzy. Stop that, please. Oh, so dizzy. Okay. This is better. Now I'm gonna make you dizzy with my Styler, even though it's gonna be very difficult to do so because you're really fast. Oh! Ah! Ooh, geez. 11. That is something that I might have to pull off with the power of a discharge. Maybe. Maybe. Let's give that a try. Go to right to the center, please. That's good enough. And let's see if I can get it done. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah! <laughs> and level up, which means that I get healed up. Which won't really matter anyway, because this is pretty much the end of the Dusk Factory. And uh, I'll be healed after the chapter anyway. So, yeah, I don't really... <laughs> Not really a very helpful level up in terms of healing, but the extra health will be handling. I mean, will be handy. <clears throat> Why did I say handling? Because I said out. I mean, I was thinking outstanding, and I guess that means like handling. I don't know. I was just kind of thinking to myself multiple things at once, and it just clash. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but, but no, I don't. I would definitely not like to join. But uh, uh, well, I don't think you're offering anyway. 
Oh, that's not good, really. Oh, so there's another place. Yeah, we should probably go over to that place. Yes, I do. <laughs> mm, well, not that fantastic, because he wasn't able to best mind. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I probably should find that other factory and take that out and yeah. <laughs> stinkers, stinkers. But who knows? Who knows? Mission clear though, that is what I do know. And we'll be teleported out of the factory in a black screen transition screen. Yeah, but eh, he's not that threatening. <laughs> And now I can safely... well, mm, eh, actually no, I won't. <laughs> I'll just wait a little bit here for the bit of dialogue. Thank you, thank you. And we get ranked up! Woo! A circle of stars! This game is loaded with circles. <laughs> Woo! Ice Pokey assists are now mine to command! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? Hmm? Anything going on over there? Oh, really? Hmm, perhaps I should flip-flop over there. Maybe, maybe. But how do I get there? Yes. Hmm. Who, indeed? Oh, of course it's me. How convenient for the walkthrough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's... hmm... hmm, see, what? why don't you tell someone, like, why couldn't, say, the Dragonite, a, a very strong dragon Pokémon, take me along with someone who actually knows how to get to Windtown, straight to it? I sense a plot hole. But anyway, I probably shouldn't question that because of the game logic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just chalk it up to game logic, otherwise implosions will happen. So yes, maybe there's no one here that knows how to get to Wind Town too. That could be potential. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta go flutter on over to Fall I mean not Fall City, we gotta go to Summerland from Fall City. And yes, chop chop indeed! Since we know how to go over there, I guess, I guess, we still, still cannot recharge our Styler in the slightest over here. Maybe I'll have a chance to show that someday. Someday. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe in the next century. Who knows? Uh, yeah, that would be pretty nice. And fly we go with incredible grace. <laughs> and there we go. Voila. And sure enough, he pops out. Uh huh. This is underwater tunnel. Yes, but how do we get through that without some sort of scuba gear or maybe, say, a submarine? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's good to know. Because, yeah, the scuba gear probably wouldn't last me. Just run out of air by the time I have to be rescued by a star you or something like that. Hmm, yes, that, oh, yeah, that's right, you did! The Aqua Mole! Really? Here comes the mechanic now, how convenient! <laughs> hmm, hmm, something. Eh, uh, maybe there is. <laughs> that, I. I might have a back scratcher around here somewhere. I could help scratch your back. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, poopers! Oh, poopers! Well, we gotta find those parts. I guess maybe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is true. Uh, eh, mm, eh. What if I say no to that? Uh, no, that's yeah, that's not true. Wait, let's see if I say no again. Uh, it just repeats itself. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Olive Jungle, but this is actually going to be a different wing of the Olive Jungle. Uh, it is kind of a mission, but yeah, we're, we're actually going to be going to a different place of the jungle than we did before. So this isn't going to be quite the same, and we actually aren't going to be capturing Pokemon. But first, let's take a peek see around here, just to see if there's anything new around these parts. Mm. I guess not. 
Hmm, because yeah, we got that sort of dialogue before. And yeah, let's move on with the groove on. Oh, what? Really? Huh. Hmm. So what? The Snorlax is gone? Blasphemy. Blasphemy, I say. Snorlaxes don't move until you use the Poke Flutes. Yeah, unless someone used the Poke Flute. Who knows? Who knows? It all happens off camera. <laughs> yeah, that girl's still here. Hmm. Wow. Wow, yeah, that's quite a, quite a difference in temperature. But anyway, I think it's a good time to end off the part here because we have a whole other mission to start in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.